Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. Today we are talking about fall favorites and I have some great products in here that I really enjoy using in this type of weather. I know that it's been fall for like two months, but only now in Bucharest we can feel the fall and it's been a bit colder and in a way I'm kind of excited. I have my fall nails, so this could be a first favorite. They are orange matte nails. I really like them and next time I'm doing for sure something black and um, I'm excited about that as well. So let's start with these. First of all, black clothes I really, really like. They are just classic and nice. And then I want to just mention something a bit random, but my glasses, I purchased them, I think in September and they are prescription glasses. I do have myopia. I think it's that pronounced in English, but yeah, this is me. <laughs> I don't usually wear my glasses because they are reflecting, of course, light and you in general need to see my makeup. But these are from uh, Furla and I really, really love them. Previously, I had ones from Ghent and they were purple, but these are a lot more classic in my opinion and they are matching my face pretty well i would say so that's the first favorite let's get into some makeup so i discovered pretty recently something that i am so excited for and this is very dramatic but it's a combo of primer and foundation these two are just incredible products and this foundation is the main main uh, character in here because I said that I'm so disappointed in foundations in general that they are not that great and that my NYX concealer is always be better than all foundations if I'm using the NYX concealer as a foundation and then I fell in love with this one. So I don't think, I still don't think I'm gonna test a lot more foundations because in general they are pretty disappointing but this one, this is my favorite. I am excited about it. And at the same time, I purchased this, the professional from um, Benefit, the light version. And I was thinking that this is a bit hydrating. It is not, it is a pore, pore filling primer, but it is lovely. I can use this one and then a glowy foundation on even this one, if I'm using a very hydrated base underneath this one and it will make all foundations wear better. So this is great. The foundation is just so lovely. This is the Huda Beauty Easy Blur, by the way. I didn't even mention the product. It's stunning. It is blurring, medium coverage. I don't want full coverage, so medium, it's okay for me. Blurring sits on the face so nicely. It looks so airbrushed. The perfect description for this is airbrushed. It looks perfect, smooth. And this one with the powder from Huda, the loose powder, perfect combo. And they have a primer for this one. And it is a matte primer. I'm a bit scared of it, so I don't think I will purchase it, but I am curious about the consistency at least because this is incredible. Let's move on because I am in love with that foundation and I am so, so impressed. In general, in the fall, I do like more toned down blushes. I know that today I'm, I am using a pretty colorful one. I will... Um, a list down below everything that I have on my face and all of these products. I'm using the Fenty one, the newer ones. It is beautiful and nice, but I think I will leave it for the spring and summer months. In the fall, I do like something a bit more neutral, toned down, a bit more on the coppery side, a bit more orangey maybe if I want something a bit more poppy. So this one is perfect. This is Worm Solo from MAC. It is a classic, but this formula is still one of my favorites. It just, it is just luxurious. It looks so, again, flawless on the cheeks and it has some shimmer, so it's not um, flat, 
but it looks so so nice so i can't wait to use this one again next for highlighter i usually skip it i do have today today is an exception <laughs> for these recommendations but i do have a lot of days where i'm not using highlighter just because i am using glowy blushes and even today i could have skipped the highlighter because the fenty um, blush is very glowy but yeah usually i don't like and i don't have even matte blushes so because of that it's enough for the cheeks in my opinion let's talk about some eye products it is time again to use this one i'm always using it but now it's just the perfect time this is the copper chic shade from elf it is the no budge shadow stick my favorite absolute favorite shadow stick it's beautiful and it looks beautiful it is emphasizing the color of my eye and this with a brown mascara perfect combo i can create a full eye look with all of these i could just put a bit of concealer or the remaining of my foundation or something on my lid just to just to have a blank canvas then put this one only in the waterline mascara and i have a very beautiful look because this one on the waterline it looks just so it gives you something you you can see the eyeshadow somewhere you can of course put it on on the lid and blend it with your finger even it's stunning i really like it and this one the essence lash without limits brown mascara just a great i just just repurchased it again it's lovely i really really like it and it is from the drugstore these two are very affordable and very 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 good product and then very recently i tested this one it is the abh spice and next week when i'm filming this you will see it a bit later but i'm going in vacation i think i will take this one with me it's stunning the mats are the good amazing abh formula we have some mats with some shimmers in here they are just really nice and then the middle row is just shimmers that are sparkly flaky those type of shimmers that i really really like because i can put them a bit in my crease and i will have a full lid of just beautiful shimmer and i really really like that look and again with a brown mascara it will be a dream so i'm gonna take probably these three products in vacation with me and i cannot wait and then for lips i have two products to recommend i purchased this one this is the makeup forever color pencil i have in here the shade anywhere caffeine i don't know why it took me so long to test this one and purchase it but i used it almost every day for a bit so i forced myself to stop it and use something else something from the project pen as well but this is amazing i really like it it is like a stiffer lip pencil but it's not hard on the lips it's not scratchy or something it's just perfect and they did release the version for the lips and i am debating a bit maybe purchasing that as well because they are really good product but that one seems a bit too uh glidey too creamy but because this is so lovely maybe i will purchase that one as well the only problem is that they don't have very light shades i would love for them to release very very nude shades for my skin tone but this anywhere caffeine is just the perfect shade it is a bit darker but it's not a dark brown at least not on me and then i was thinking what lipstick to recommend because usually i do change my lipstick every day of course i'm using the charlotte tilbury pillow talk most days at least i'm trying uh, that one is in the project pen but then i decided on this because it is the perfect shade for fall and this formula it's lovely and this combo 11 out of 10 this is house labs the phd hybrid lip glaze i have the shade cocoa in here 
when I purchased this one, I was a bit scared because I wanted like a sheer uh, cocoa brown shade and this is exactly that. I was scared when you are seeing it in here, it seems like a pretty dark brown, but on the lips, this is the perfect brown because I discovered that I really don't like very dark lips. I have just one exception, the NYX uh, matte lipstick. That one, I don't know why. It looks great on me. I really like it, but except it, usually I really like nude shades. But this, this is the perfect in between. I absolutely love it. It is just stunning. Then I want to recommend something for skincare and something for perfume. Just one for each category. I purchased this one recently because I um, I did a facial and it was great. And then I decided to purchase a mask for my skin just to refresh it from time to time. And I decided on this one. This is the You To The People Super Clay Purify and Clear Power Mask. This is with niacinamide, kombucha and BHA. So in general ingredients that usually my skin loves niacinamide bha as well kombucha i don't know <laughs> that i don't know but let me tell you this mask is great it is like a normal clay mask it is black or that kind of gray color you put it on your skin leave it for 10 minutes and then uh, you rinse it with water i really like it my skin feels refreshed after you maybe need to be a bit careful and hydrate a bit more after it it's not drying but it could dry a bit your skin and because of the weather as well we need to apply even more creams and even more hydration to the skin because after the facial and after this my face it is a bit a bit more on the dry side but great product and for a, for a perfume i decided to recommend this one because I applied it one day. I'm almost done with it. First of all, I'm right here. Uh, this is the Kayali Oudgasm Vanilla Oud. And this one I think was released last fall or something around that time. Uh, first of all, Kayali is my favorite perfume brand. So everything that Kayali is releasing, I am intrigued. But this one, I really like and it was very funny uh, I think two days ago or something I applied this one and I was in the metro and there were a lot of people around of course and I was like who smells this nice and I, <laughs> I then smelled my shirt and I was like oh it's me <laughs> but I was wearing this and it smells great and I really love these small bottles I am I am collecting them already. I have a bunch of them. They are just great. So this was everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.